Five Reasons Women Make False Rape Allegations on today's Modern Day Leper with Ahmad Blakemore. Hello, Leper fans. How are you? And welcome back to another edition of Modern Day Leper with Ahmad Blakemore. Hope everyone is doing good. This video is a very important video because there are lots of men right now who are in prison for rape charges that they did not commit. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at and dissect the top five reasons why women make false rape allegations. First of all, we must understand right away why it's done. And it's only done for one reason with two different pivot points. And that is power over and control of power over and control of power over people control of the situation and this is a tool that is used by women to have power over people and to control situations and so these are the top five situations in which this will happen so let's jump right in right out of the barrel number one is revenge. A woman will use her ability to say that she was raped as revenge. Now, we know this to be true. When I was on probation, I had a friend and he had three different girlfriends and three different children by those women. And he preferred the younger child because the mother was in a more stable situation. But his oldest child, the first woman he was with, was very vindictive because her situation was not as good. She would try to get in touch with him. He would go by, see his son, and he would leave. So what she did was she invited him over for drinks and dinner. They had sex that night. And then she went to his probation officer and said she felt like she was raped. Not that she was raped. She said she felt like she was raped. So guess what happened to him? <laughs> he was called back in to address this charge, to, a, to answer for this alleged feeling of rape. Why? Revenge. Because mother number one wanted the attention of mother number three and mother number two was riding right along with it. The point is, and the good news in this situation was he did not have to do any more jail time that's because he went to number one and begged her not to press charges. And the reason she did not press charges is because he decided to move out of the house with woman number three and move back into the house with who? Number one, control over people, power over people, control over situation. So this false allegation allowed her to control him and she did she had power over him because he did not want to have any more rape charges against him this is a terrible thing to do and for women to do this to men is terrible number two to generate sympathy from regret to generate sympathy from regret. Why would a woman accuse someone of rape to generate sympathy from regret? When women do things that they regret, 
they go out, they meet somebody, they have sex with the person, and then their husbands find out about it. What is the first thing they say? He made me do it. He made me do it. <laughs> How many of us has heard that before? He made me do it. So she needs sympathy from her husband not to divorce her, not to put her out of the house. So in order to get that sympathy, because she regrets doing something, she says, I was raped. This happens a lot in Hollywood. How many women have been a victim of the casting couch? How many women actually went along with the casting couch to get the parts that they wanted? And then when they got those parts and got that money and got that fame, said he raped me. Did he actually rape you? Or did you just go along with it so you could get the fame, the money, and the notoriety? They want that uh, regret to go away. And so this is why they say he raped me. Number three is monetary gain. And monetary gain goes right along with the first, the second one, which is uh, regret, getting sympathy from regret. Monetary gain. Monetary gain can take a person who has no clout, no money, and put them even with a multimillionaire just by claiming you were raped. This is the fastest way to level up. And we know this happens. It happened with Kobe Bryant. He said it was consensual. She said she got raped. He ended up giving her $3 million. <laughs> this happens all the time when women blame famous people. And you don't have to be a famous person. You can be a police officer, female, low level, dating a lieutenant or a captain and that lieutenant or that captain says he's going to promise you something and all of a sudden you don't get it you can say he raped me or you can give the allegation or make him feel like you're going to tell somebody he raped you and guess what he's going to start talking to you right away and try to get those things that you want to keep from ruining his reputation because women have the power to say, he raped me and level up. Some of the most famous men in the world have been accused of rape. Some actually did commit the rape, some didn't. In the cases of Michael Jackson, Bill Cosby and R. Kelly, some of these cases were guilty. Some of these cases were completely made up. Some of these women never even met these people and they were saying they were raped because you might get an opportunity to write a book you might get an opportunity to go on tv you might get an opportunity <laughs> to, to to do a movie you're going to level up because now everybody knows who you are so just making the allegation alone is a way to level up five reasons why women make false rape allegations. Number four, situation that women will say somebody raped them is in a divorce. In a divorce settlement, there's a lot to lose and there's a lot to gain. In the loss category, the man can lose the house, he can lose his children, he can lose money, he can lose his job, he can lose his reputation. And the fact that the women can gain everything. What is one way that women use to dictate the direction of their divorce? He was violent toward me. He raped me. He molested our children allegations like this 
saying that a man molested his child during a divorce proceeding will stop his defense cold. And whether it's true or not, he will always have that bias against him. Women, 90% of the time, will get the children anyway. But to level something like that, to say that the man molests his children or that the man is violent and a rapist is the number one way to guarantee that a woman will get everything she wants. And this is why women make false allegations of rape. They want to control situations and have power over people. And by making these allegations, they get exactly that. By saying a man is molesting his children, it stops him cold in his tracks. And by the time they determine that that's not the case, he's already been biased against. This entire episode of women who make these allegations knowing that no person has violated them is terrible. This is the worst thing that can happen to a man. In the case where women are raped and beaten and hurt, it is a tragedy when this happens to women and to their families and how this shatters the families. For someone to make a false allegation such as this against a man, to gain control over him or control over a situation is the worst thing she can do to him. Lots of red states now are starting to get laws in place to combat this, where if a woman makes a false allegation and she knows that she made a false allegation, she's going to get prison time. A lot of states are adopting new laws, and these laws look to be pretty severe against the women that do this. These are the top reasons. And so I left one reason out for last because it is totally different from all the others. Revenge, monetary gain, to generate sympathy from regret, uh, or to control a divorce proceeding. Number five is totally different and it's in a category all by itself. It's called mental illness. A lot of women that are mentally ill will say that they were raped and they were not raped. But a lot of this stems from what happened in their childhood. A lot of women see things that have happened to their parent They may have seen their mother get raped and then they project that onto themselves as a way of protecting their parent. It never happened to her. It happened to me and then project that onto someone else. A lot of young girls have been raped and since they could not get justice from the person or someone triggers that memory or looks like the person that actually committed the crime against them. Lots of times, younger sisters are protected by their older sisters by saying, he didn't rape her, he raped me, as a way of protecting their younger siblings. Mental illness is rampant, especially when children are abused. Lots of young girls have been abused in this United States that we live in leading to prostitution and drug abuse and lots of other uh, things that have ruined their lives. It is our job to at least acknowledge that these things exist and then see what we can help to do about them. Now you know what the top reasons are for women to make false rape allegations.
one more time revenge monetary gain to generate sympathy or re from regret to get control of a divorce proceeding and mental illness i appreciate you guys listening i appreciate all the new subscribers that we have to the channel i appreciate the rapid growth that we're getting i appreciate the interest and the sharing of the videos so continue to subscribe and i will see you on the next one my name is ahmad blakemore i am the modern day leper and i will see you on the next one thank you bye-bye